Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Hangojana and you're tuned in to Wednesday the 26th of October 2022's Rhapsody Reading. The title of today's message is Be Effectual in Soul Winning. While we're still at that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you turn the notification bell on so that you get notified every time i upload a video please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section also like and share these videos with your loved ones now let's get back to the rhapsody reading the opening scripture is second corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 it reads as follows and all things are of god who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Pastor says not every Christian is participating actively in the ministry of reconciliation. It's not meant to be so. We are all expected to be active and very effectual in soul winning. The day would come when we all stand before the master and every one of us would receive praise of him. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. The Lord is going to reward us according to our works. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. That's Matthew chapter 16, verse 27. As we know, our works aren't the same. Our commitment is at different levels. But today, I want you to make an honest assessment of your participation in the gospel. If you were to stand before God right now, what would he say about your works in the propagation of the gospel in these end times? Mm, what a question. God's number one passion is soul winning. Therefore, Put everything into it. Be active, very active in the ministry of reconciliation. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The Lord's overwhelming portion to reconcile man to himself is emphasized in the assignment he gave to Jesus, buttressed by these words of the Master himself. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's John chapter 10 verse 10. Take this seriously. Every day, talk to others about Jesus. Do it in your neighborhood, in your estate, and then go beyond. There are places you might not be able to get to physically. You can reach them through partnership and sponsorship of the distribution of gospel materials such as Rhapsody of Realities. We have the structure and platforms for such. Contact your local church office or visit www.reachoutworld.org for more information. Now let's take the prayer. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for the opportunity to actively win souls today. The light of your glorious gospel shines brightly in the nations as we proclaim your truth in all the earth. Every resistance is broken and men's hearts are open to receive our message for their salvation. Satan's, bond, Satan's bondage and deception are destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. For further studies, we read Romans chapter 1 verse 16, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 19, and Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to 16. If you are on the one year Bible reading plan, today we are reading 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 26 and Jeremiah chapter 19 to 22. If you are reading the two year Bible reading plan, today we are on Hebrews chapter 13 
verse 1 to 25 and Ezekiel chapter 25 to 26. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. This is Information with Tepiso. Let us meet tomorrow with tomorrow's message. Thank you.